Hello children, welcome back to our class. What we discussed in the previous class, we discussed about linear equations in one variable and linear equation in two variables, and a pair of linear equations in two variables and uh, when a pair of linear equations are said to be intersecting, coincident as well as parallel because every say straight line represents a linear equation in two variables or one variable of course in three variables whatever it is right so today we are going to discuss about what is the solution of a pair of linear equations if unique solution exist we can call them as common solution for a pair of linear equations in two variables okay so what are all the methods of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables given in our 10th grade CBSE curriculum, right? So, there are different methods of solving a pair of linear equations. Those methods of solving pair of linear equations are methods of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables okay those methods of solving pair of linear equations in two variables are the very first method is substitution method what do you call that method substitution method and second method is called elimination method. So, second method is elimination method. And third method is said to be cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication method. And of course, there is one more method. We already discussed about that. That one more method is graphical method another method is graphical method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables right we had a discussion about graphical method when you represent two straight lines on the graph sheet where both the straight lines intersect that point of intersection is said to be the common solution for both the given linear equations in two variables right so now we will be discussing about substitution method elimination method and cross multiplication method for example you are given a pair of linear equations and how are you going to solve those pair of linear equations by substitution method by elimination method by cross multiplication method if a unique solution exists Suppose if unique solution does not exist, then there are infinitely many number of solutions. Otherwise, there is no solution. In that case, we are not going to find those solutions, right? If unique solution exists and when for a given pair of linear equations, unique solution exists, we had a discussion in the previous class, yes, where a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. These two are a pair of linear equations are said to have a unique solution, a unique common solution only when the value of a1 by a2 is not supposed to be equal to b1 by b2. So, then only they have a unique common solution. So, before you find out the common solution, you make sure that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, okay. Uh, Let us take one example and we will try to solve those linear equations in two variables by all these methods, okay. First thing is by substitution method, by substitution method, right. So, according to this method, I am going to take a pair of linear, equa pair of linear equations in two variables, 
they are for example x plus 2y is equal to 7 and second equation is 2x plus y is equal to 9. These two are a pair of linear equations. We are going to solve this pair of linear equations by substitution method. So, what do you mean by the substitution method? See, substitution itself says that you need to find out the value of one variable from one of the equations and then substitute that value of the variable in the second equation. That is what called substitution method. But before you find out the value of one variable, ensure that the variable has the smaller coefficient. Okay? Then it is easier to obtain that value of the variable in terms of the other variable and we can easily substitute. See here, x plus 2y is equal to 7. In this coefficient of x is 1, coefficient of y is 2. In this 2x plus y is equal to 9, where coefficient of x is 2 and coefficient of y is equal to 1. So that you can choose either x or y from one of these two equations. Right? For suppose, I am taking first equation and here x plus 2y is equal to 7. Since x is alone, I am going to figure out the value of x. Okay? First equation x plus 2y is equal to 7, then x is equal to 7 minus 2y. Substitute x is equal to 7 minus 2y in which equation? In the other equation, right? So, when you substitute in second equation, then second equation is going to be 2x plus y is equal to 9. Wherever you find x, you will have to substitute 7 minus 2y in the place of x. That implies this is 2x. So, 2 times x is going to be 7 minus 2y plus one more y is there, y is equal to 9. Right? 2 times 7 is going to be 14 minus 2 times 2 is 4y plus y is equal to 9. Right? Now, you simplify 14 minus 4y plus y. So, minus 4y plus 1y is nothing but minus 3y is equals to 9. Right? But you want the value of y. That is why you transpose 3y towards right hand side and plus 9 towards left hand side. Got it? Then already you have 14 here. So, that 14 transposing plus 9 towards left hand side. So, minus 9 is equal to minus 3y would become plus 3y. What is 14 minus 9? 14 minus 9 is going to be 5. So, that this is 5 is equals to 3y. If 5 is equal to 3y, then what is the value of y? Yes, the value of y is going to be 5 upon 3. So, this way we can get the value of y. After getting the value of y, how to obtain the value of x? Yes, you have the value of x here in terms of y. Correct? So, substitute y is equal to 5 by 3 in x is equal to 7 minus 2y to get the value of x. So, since the value of x is going to be 7 minus 2y, so substitute y is equal to 5 by 3, which is nothing but 7 minus 2 times 5 divided by 3, right? That implies 7 minus 2 times 5 is equal to 10 divided by 2 means 2 divided by 1. So, that 2 5s are 10 by 1 3s are 3. So, if you simplify this, 3 7s are 21 minus 10 divided by 3. So, the value of x is going to be 21 minus 10 is equal to 11 divided by 3 is the value of x. So, this way you can find out the values of x as well as y by substitution method. Hope you understand. Okay, for example, this is the first one and I am taking one more example and I will explain you one more problem when a unique solution exists by substitution method. Okay? Right. Now, my equations are going to be, those two equations are, the first equation is going to be 8x plus 5y 8x plus 5y is equals to 9 and second equation is going to be 
3 x plus 2 y is equals to 4. These two are a pair of linear equations. Now, I am going to solve these two pair of linear equations by substitution method. For that, I need to check whether a unique solution exists or not. A1 by A2 should not be equal to B1 by B2. A1 by A2 equal to 8 by 3, B1 by B2 equal to 5 by 2. Of course, 8 by 3 is not equal to 5 by 2. Therefore, a unique solution exists. You will have to check that. Okay? Now, going to find out the values of one of the variable, either value of x or the value of y by choosing one of the simple linear equation. Right? See, this is 8x and this is 3x. So, 3 is smaller than 8. 5y and 2y. Of course, y is uh, 2 is smaller than 5. So, that I can choose either 3 or either 2. Right? Okay. I am going to choose this 3x term to obtain the value of x from the second equation. So, that second equation implies 3x is equals to 4 minus 2y. Okay? 3x equal to 4 minus 2y, then x is equal to 4 minus 2y whole divided by 3. This is the value of x. What should I do now? I should substitute x is equal to 4 minus 2y by 3 in first equation. So, then first equation will become, what is the first equation? 8x plus 5y which is equals to 9 where x is equal to 4 minus 2y by 3 so that 8 into 4 minus 2y whole divided by 3 plus 5y, 5y is equals to 9, right? 8 means 8 divided by 1, then you multiply numerator to the numerator, denominator to the denominator, 8 fours are 32 minus 8 twos are 16y whole divided by 1 threes are 3, plus 5y is 5y divided by 1 is equals to 9, right? Now, when you simplify 1 into 32 minus 16y is 32 minus 16y plus 3 into 5y, 3 5s are 15y whole divided by 3 1s are 3, which is equal to 9, right? When you simplify this, 13 minus 16y plus 15y. What is minus 16y plus 15y? Yes, you can say that minus 16y plus 15y is going to be minus 1y. So, 32 was already there. So, that 32 is equals to minus, sorry, 32 minus, right, that is, yeah. Therefore, 32, 32 minus this is minus 16 plus 5 of 15 y is going to be plus of minus 1 y divided by 3 is equals to 9 divided by 1. Now, since two fractions are equal, you need to cross multiply. Then 9 threes are 27 is equals to 32 minus y. Since you want the value of y, transpose negative y towards left hand side and transpose positive 27 towards right hand side. Then after transposing 27, we left with 0 here. When you are transposing minus y here, it would be plus y is equal to 32 positive 27. This is then it will become minus 27. So, what is 32 minus 27? Yes, it is 5. Therefore, the value of y is going to be 5, right? After getting the value of y, to get the value of x, you will have to identify this. So, there the value of x is going to be 4 minus 2y by 3. Since the value of x is equals to 4 minus 2y whole divided by 3, when I substitute y is equal to 5, then it would be 4 minus 2 into 5 divided by 3, right? that is equal to 4 minus 2 into 5 is equal to 10 divided by 3. What is 4 minus 10? Is equal to minus 6. So, minus 6 divided by 3. What is the value of minus 6 divided by 3? Which is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the value of x is going to be minus 2. Right? So, this way you can find out the values of x and y by substitution method. But, if we think logically, 
this method takes lot of time to figure out the values of x and y. So, that is why there is one more method being introduced. What do you call that one more method? That is elimination method. Let us see how to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables by elimination method. Okay? So, let me take these two uh, linear equations and then explain by elimination method. First, let us uh, try with a smaller uh, example. The smaller example in the sense, I will take two linear equations with smaller coefficients. Okay? By which method? By the method of elimination. So, it is called by elimination method. By elimination method. So, by this method, we can easily solve. So, comparatively, this method is easier uh, to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables. Okay? So, frequently, we use this method. That method is called method of elimination. Okay? Right. Of course, whatever the method that you are using, ensure that they have a unique solution. Otherwise, we cannot. Okay? I am taking one example that x plus y is equal to 7 and then 2x minus y is equal to uh, something 2. Okay? x plus y is equal to 7 and 2x minus y is equal to 2. These two are a pair of linear equations. Now, I am going to solve by elimination method. What do you mean by elimination? Elimination is nothing but removing. Okay? So, you will have to remove one of the variables out of x and y. So, how is that possible for that? For example, you are given two equal numbers 2 and 2. Okay? I want 0 the, as the result. Then, I should add 2 and 2 to get 0. Otherwise, I should subtract 2 from 2 to get 0. Obviously, I should subtract. So, 2 means that is positive 2 obviously. Again, this 2 means that is also positive 2. So, if I have 2 positive 2's to get 0 as the result, so definitely I will have to subtract 1, 2 from the other 2. And I have a number 2 and another number is minus 2. Now, I want to get 0 as the result. Should I add both of them? Otherwise, should I subtract 1 from the other? See, one number is positive 2 and one number is negative 2 basically. Then, if I add both of them, then plus 2 minus 2 will be 0. But if I subtract 1 from the other, then this is minus, right? When I multiply this minus 2 with minus, then it will become plus. Then, plus 2 plus 2 will not be 0. So, that I should not subtract 1 from the other to get 0 as the result. So, what did you understand from both the examples? Suppose, if you have a number in the, in the form of a variable, for example, if this is x and this is x, otherwise this is, this is 3x and this is 3x. If both of them have the same sign, then definitely I should subtract one from the other to vanish the term. For example, I have 5y and I have minus 5y. So, 5y minus 5y basically one is positive and one is negative. Then I should add both of them to get 0. If I subtract one from the other, I will not get 0. So, if you have the terms, same terms and they have same sign, then definitely you will have to subtract one from the other to eliminate. Suppose, if you have terms same in magnitude but opposite in sign, then definitely you will have to add them to vanish the terms. Hope you understand. See here, in this elimination method, you need to concentrate on the terms first of all. Okay? So, here the coefficients of x in this first equation is 1 and in second equation is 2. It means x terms are not same terms. Coming to y, y is positive y and here negative y. See, y terms are same in magnitude but opposite in sign. So, since these two terms are same in magnitude and opposite in sign, then definitely you will have to add. So, that by adding these two equations, by adding these two equations, what we will get? This is 1x plus 2x. So, 1x plus 2x. So, we are adding them. right? So, 1x plus 2x is going to be 3x plus y minus y. 
will get cancel means 0 which is equal to 7 plus 2 is going to be 9 right. So, 3 x is equal to 9 here onwards you can say easily what is the value of x 3 into how much is equal to 9 3 into 3 is equal to 9 so that the value of x is equal to 3. After getting the value of x to get the value of y obviously you will have to go back to one of the equations which you feel simpler coefficients then substitute back in this one of the equations. See uh, out of first and second equations I feel that first equation is simpler in coefficients right. So, taking the first equation and substituting this x value. So, x plus y is equals to 7. Now, I am substituting x equal to 3 here. So, 3 plus y is equal to 7. Therefore, y is equal to 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 3 and the value of y is equal to 4. See how much easier this is. If you follow substitution method, I think more number of steps will be there. But otherwise, if you think logically, this elimination method is pretty much easier than this substitution method. Okay? This is one of the examples. So, in previous uh, um, substitution method, we have taken one example. I am going to take the same example to get the solution by this elimination method. So, the pair of equations are given that 8x plus 5y which is equal to 9 is one of the equations and second equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to 4 is the second equation. Now, we will have to understand how do we use this elimination method effectively. right? For that, the very first step is going to be you will have to choose the variable that you are going to eliminate. Okay? And before you choose that, you will have to identify the coefficients of that particular variable in both the equations. right? See, this is 8x and this is 3x. Obviously, they are not same in magnitude. Coming to 5y and 2y, they are also not same. If the terms are not same, then what has to be done? If the terms are same, then only we can eliminate either by adding or by subtracting. If the terms are not same, then we will have to make the terms equal. That is what is our primary task. So, how to make the terms equal? That is for that, you will have to choose the term that you are going to eliminate. Then, the terms should be smaller in coefficients. Okay? See here, this is 8x and 3x and this is 5y and 2y. I think comparatively 5y and 2y are smaller in coefficients than x, uh, 8x and uh, 3x. Okay. I have decided to eliminate 5y and 2y means I am going to eliminate y term. For that, I need to equate y terms. To equate y terms, this is 5 and this is 2. Okay. So, 5 and 2. What is the LCM of 5 and 2? 5 and 2 LCM is equal to 10. So, that you can make 5 and 2 as 10. To make 5 and 2 as 10, it is understand that you need to multiply this equation by 2 and this equation by 5. Right? What does it mean? We are thinking about LCM, HEF, so many things, but it is not required. See, if these two numbers are two numbers which have no factor, no common factor other than 1, better interchange both the coefficients and then multiply as simple as that. Okay? Multiply this term with this coefficient and this term with this coefficient as simple as that. Okay? Let us start finding the other equations so obtained by multiplying both the equations by 2 and 5. Right? Okay? The first equation is going to be multiply every single term of the equation by 2. So, that 2 into 8x is equal to 16x plus 2 into 5y is equal to 10y is equal to 2 into 9 is going to be 18. Right? Coming to second equation, 5 into 3 is equal to 15x plus 5 into 2y is equal to 10y is equal to 5 into 4 is going to be 20. See, our y terms are same in magnitude as well as same in sign also. So, that we should add or we should subtract to get 0. Since they have the same sign, we will have to subtract one from the other. So, while subtracting, you will have to 
change the signs of the second equation. So, the sign was basically positive, so that it would be negative now. Here it was positive, so it would be negative. Again, it was positive because this is plus 20, so now it would be negative 20, right? So, 16x is positive 16x, so 16x minus 15x is going to be 1x and plus 10y minus 10y will be 0, which is equal to 18 minus 20 is going to be minus 2. So, we got the value of x directly. So, we get x is equal to minus 2. After getting the value of x, to get the value of y, you can choose one of the equations with smaller coefficients. See, the second equation is with smaller coefficients. What is the second equation? It is going to be 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. When you substitute x equal to minus 2 there, so 3 times minus 2 plus 2y is equal to 4. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 plus 2y is equal to 4. Transpose minus 6 that side then it would be 2y is equal to 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6 is going to be 10. So, 2y is equal to 10. Therefore, the value of y is going to be 5. See how easily we get the values of x and y by this elimination method, right? So, elimination method is comparatively easier to apply than our substitution method. Okay, this is about elimination method and coming to the third method. What is the third method? Cross multiplication method. Here, you need to think logically about this cross multiplication method because this is very, very important and moreover useful method in our higher studies like plus 1, plus 2 intermediate. We frequently use this method in order to find the values of the variables of pair of linear equations either in two variables and three variables also. So, that is why you need to understand the procedure and the system of using this elimination method. For that, I am going to start with the standard form of linear equations in two variables. So, what is the method that we are going to use now? That method is cross multiplication method by cross multiplication method. by cross multiplication method. So, in this particular method, you need to consider the standard form of linear equations in two variables. That must, the equations must be in the standard form. I am going to write them here. The first equation is a1x plus b1y is equal to c1. If it is equal to c1, then definitely it is not in the standard form then you will have to write that c1 as minus c1 is equal to 0. So, that should be in the standard form, but not ax plus by is equal to c is not the standard form. So, anyway, we are taking the standard forms of linear equations, so that ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, so that since it is a first equation, so that a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. Similarly, the second equation is going to be a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equals to 0 is the second equation in the standard form, right? So, ensure that the given linear equations must be in the standard form a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, right? And now, according to this method, you need to consider only coefficients, okay? And those coefficients should start from y, so y coefficients. Write y coefficients in both the equations as column, means what? y coefficient in the first equation is b1 and in the second equation is b2, so that is why you can write it as b1, b2, okay? Now, write the coefficients of y as the first column and then next, next we have constants. So, write constants as second column that is c1, c2 as second column. After that, we have nothing to write so that come back to coefficient of x. They are a1, a2 and once again after a1, a2, write b1, b2, okay? So, this way you can write the coefficients as columns. Got my point? 
So, here the first column with coefficient of y and next we have c 1 c 2 means constants write constants as a second column after that we have nothing to write. So, come back for the co coefficient of x write a 1 a 2 and then after coefficient of x you have coefficient of y write b 1 b 2 like this you will have to prepare four columns with coefficients of various terms and now between first and second columns you will have to write x okay you will have to write x between first and second columns and the second and third columns you will have to write y third and fourth columns you will have to write 1 after writing according to this method after writing take the cross product of first two columns so these are first two columns take the cross product of first two columns that is b1 into c2 b1 c2 minus again multiply these two that is b2 into c1 is b2 c1 okay b1 into c2 minus b2 into c1 they are for x so that you should write x divided by okay x divided by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 which is equal to now for y for y you should do the same thing again you should take these two columns and do the same cross product which is equal to y divided by c1 into a2 is c1 a2 minus c2 into a1 is c2 a1 right after taking for x and y you will have to take for 1 which is equal to 1 divided by again for these two when you take for these two a1 into b2 is a1 b2 minus a2 into b1 is going to be a2 b1 right and after writing the coefficients as well as the cross product now you are going to find the value of x as well as the value of y okay see this is x divided by something equal to y divided by something equal to 1 divided by something see there are totally three terms are equal so when three terms are equal to each other then you can equate any two terms but if you equate first and second terms then you will get the value of x in terms of y and y in terms of x but we want x alone as a constant as well as y alone as a constant so that you will have to equate this x value and x term as well as the constant term so when you equate this one and this one then you get x divided by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to 1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 by cross multiplication this b1 c2 minus b2 c1 into 1 will be b1 c2 minus b2 c1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 and x is alone right with this you can write the value of x as well as the value of y therefore the value of x is going to be this is this denominator is going to the numerator there then b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole divided by what is the denominator a1 b2 minus a2 b1 right that is the value of x similarly to get the value of y what what has to be done you will have to equate these two now because you want y as a constant right so again this c1 a2 minus c2 a1 goes there then it will become the value of y is equal to c1 a2 minus c2 a1 whole divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so this way you can find the values of x and y easily by this cross multiplication method let us try to understand this method by taking one example okay the familiar example that we used for both substitution method as well as elimination method so what is that i am taking now the given problem is solve the pair of linear equations 8x plus 5y is equals to 9 and second pair is 3x plus 2y is equals to 4 okay so while solving this pair of linear equations by this cross multiplication method make sure that both the linear equations must be in the standard form means a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 are our equations in the standard form not at all because x terms or y terms are there on the left hand side but constant is there on the right hand side so you will have to bring it to the left hand side 
then the first equation is going to be 8x plus 5y plus minus 9 is equal to 0 and second equation is going to be 3x plus 2y plus minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, both of them are in the standard form. So, what next? You will have to arrange the coefficients of b onwards. So, what are the coefficients of b here? Let us start with the coefficients of b. Here, coefficients, sorry, coefficients of y, they are 5y and 2y, okay? Coefficient of y in the first equation is 5 and in second equation is 2, okay? And then constants, what are constants here? Minus 9, minus 4. After constants and then come back for coefficient of x, that is 8 and 3, so that 8, 3 and once again you write coefficient of y, they are 5, 2, okay? What next? You will have to write x between first and second columns and then y between second and third columns and then write 1 between third and fourth columns. So, what next? What has to be done? Yes. For the value of x, you should write x divided by, take these two columns and do the cross product. Means, 5 into minus 4. What is 5 into minus 4? 5 fours are 20. 20 into minus is minus 20. So, this is minus 20 minus because according to this method, it is minus and now multiply these two. What is that? 2 into minus 9, 2 into minus 9 is equal to minus 18, okay, which is equal to y divided by, again, take these two, okay, take the cross product minus 9 into 3, minus 9 into 3 is equal to minus 27 minus, minus 4 into 8, 4 8s are 32, which is minus, so minus 32, which is equal to constant. 1 divided by, now you take these two columns, okay. 8 into 2 is going to be 16 minus 3 into 5 is going to be 15, correct. So, we are almost there to get the solution. x divided by minus 20 minus of minus 18 plus 18. What is minus 20 plus 18? Yes, minus 20 plus 18 is equal to minus 2, which is equal to y divided by minus 27 minus of minus plus 32, minus 27 plus 32 is equal to plus 5. So, which is 5 is equal to 1 divided by 16 minus 15 is equal to 1, right. To get the value of x, you will have to equate these two, right. x by minus 2 is equal to 1 by 1. By cross multiplication, x into 1 is equal to x is equal to minus 2 into 1 is equal to minus 2. See, we got the value of x. x as minus 2. Similarly, to get the value of y, you will have to choose these two. y by 5 is equal to 1 by 1, y into 1 is equal to y, which is equal to 5 into 1 is equal to 5. Therefore, the value of y is equal to 5. So, this way, we can find the solutions of a pair of linear equations by cross multiplication method. So, hope you understand. This is what about linear equations in two variables. So, briefly, what we discussed in our linear equations in two variables chapter, first of all, we discussed about what is the position of a linear equation when you represent it on the graph. So, every linear equation represents a straight line, okay, either it is in one variable or two variables or three variables and then we discussed about a pair of linear equations in two variables and uh, what is the number of solutions of a pair of linear equations in two variables in different cases, okay. So, suppose if the pair of linear equations are intersecting, then they have a unique common solution. Suppose if they are coincident lines, then they have infinitely many number of common solutions. If they are never intersecting at any point, then there is no common solution. In that case, we can call them as parallel lines. Okay. Suppose, if a solution or many number of common solutions exist for a pair of linear equations, then they are said to be consistent linear equations. Otherwise, they are said to be inconsistent. So, pair of parallel lines are said to be inconsistent linear equations. And later on, we discussed about different methods of solving a pair of linear equations. They are namely, substitution method, elimination method, cross multiplication method, 
of course graphical method also hope you understand so this is about linear equations in two variables chapter thank you